us refer to seizure precautions. So what are seizure precautions? That is when the nurse is making arrangements to keep the patient safe. So here's what it looks like. We will be aware, be aware that your patient has the potential to have a seizure. That's the most important part is just knowing when to expect one or the potential to expect one. Pad the side rails. Whether or not you have really nice thick pads to pad the side rails of the bed or use pillows, blankets, towels, whatever you have that is soft to protect the patient's head and body from injury. So we're thinking about protecting them from injury and from harm because when they have a seizure, they have uncontrolled movements and you can't really restrain them so we have to protect their body while they're having a seizure. Have oxygen and suction ready and available. So you must have this nearby and ready to go. If the patient has a seizure, sometimes they will stop breathing and sometimes they will have a lot of foam and mucus coming out of their mouth and we need to clear their airway and protect their airway. So that's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna have that precaution ready to go. Bed at the lowest position. That is just in case the patient has such a violent seizure they may fall out of the bed. We also just want the bed to be in the lowest position. That's the safest place for every patient to be. Know where your emergency drugs are. So our emergency drugs is gonna give us our benzodiazepines like Versed that can help sedate the patient and make the seizure calm down. Also phenobarbital or some other drugs that can be given to help control seizures. So if we have these available, we should have an emergency box drug of them and it should be available in your drug dispensing machine. Do not leave the patient alone. If your patient has the potential to have a seizures, maybe they've had a head injury or stroke or other brain trauma, we need to make sure we don't leave them alone. So there are our seizure precautions. Let's look at seizure management. So what do we do? Always protect the patient from harm. We want to position them on their side. We want them on their side in case they vomit and then the secretions that come out of their mouth will come out that way. So we want them on their side so they won't choke on it. Loosen restrictive clothing. If they have on a suit, a tie, or a tight shirt, a bra, um, buttoned pants, you want to res loosen all restrictive clothing so that they can breathe as easy as possible. Keep their airway patent. This is very important. You want to provide oxygen and suction. So you're going to suction their mouth, usually with a yonker, and you suction the sides of their mouth and to get all the secretions out that you can. You're gonna put a face mask on them at 10 to 15 liters, full non-rebreather mask. Document. Any auras, auras is a smell or a color or something that the patient notices that happens right before a seizure. Any precipitating factors also, so what happened right before the seizure. How long does it last? Document your start and the end time and what it looked like. What kind of posturing did the patient have? Did they have decorder kit posturing where they have their arms in like this and flax and their feet are extended? Or did they have cerebral posturing where their arms are extended down and they are really straight as a board? So are they having decerebral or decorder kit posturing? After the seizure is over, you will document the vital signs You'll get O2 saturations, O2 saturations, and you'll also get a blood glucose. Patients tend to use up a lot of glucose storage during a seizure, so we wanna make sure they're not gonna have any hypoglycemia afterwards. So there you have it. How to do seizure precautions and nursing management of a patient having a seizure.